Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh. My name is Melody Gambino, and this is my video cover letter. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I believe you're probably watching this because we're either in discussion for me to join your team full time, uh, somewhere on the executive team, or perhaps in a consulting capacity, or an advisor on the board. And this video hopefully will give you some insight into my professional journey and the areas that I specialize in and what makes me stand out from other people who might be uh, applying or, or uh, jockeying for your attention. So I started off 20 years ago and I worked for Walmart and then Travelers, so very large enterprise brands, you know, tens of thousands of employees. And I was on the corporate marketing teams, primarily focused on things like internal comms, knowledge management, sales support, and uh, sales enablement, which was, you know, an incredible way to start off Eight years in, I moved to New York and started working for a tech company, which I thought was just a website. I didn't know it was an audience aggregator. I didn't even know what that was. But the next eight years, I spent working in ad tech and martech and helping these early stage emerging technology nascent market companies make a name for themselves, get through the process of acquisition. And I was able to do that four times, which was an incredible experience. And it gave me what I needed to be able to step into the roles that I've had more recently that were primarily uh, legacy technology companies. So 20 to 50 years old, not angel stage, not series A or series B, definitely not coming in as the first marketing hire or you've got a couple generalists and now I'm building a function. They have 20 to 50 marketing employees and I'm looking at their structure, their tech stack, and the way that they are interacting within the organization to ensure that they're adding the most value and that I'm modernizing the process to demonstrate that marketing drives revenue and grows your pipeline and doesn't just suck off your budget at, or the bottom line um, to make pretty PowerPoints or whatever people used to think marketing did. I have found that one of the areas I um, am able to impact is sitting between product and sales where product wants to build the cool thing that engineers or developers find and sales wants to do whatever they need in order to make their quota for the quarter. I am able to connect those two needs and wants and also bring an industry insight that says this is the white space, this is where we're going, this is the competitive insight, and this is what our customers are saying in their own language and how do we respond to that both short term and long term. And then demonstrating that strategy internally to the employees in a manner that they feel connected to it so that every employee knows exactly how their day-to-day -day work is positively impacting the company and the success of that organization. When you're working at these companies that have grown through acquisition, a lot of times there's a disconnect with the customer base. The smaller companies that were bought up had a much higher brand recognition than, say, the mothership. And there's also um, a bit of disconnection within the organization, people still feeling like they work for that other um, company that was acquired. So bringing people together, a lot of change management, a lot of brand cheerleading. I've been called company mascot many times in my career, and I own that. I am very enthusiastic, and I am a people leader who is focused primarily on empathy and leading with empathy, which doesn't mean I'm a softie. I can have hard conversations, but I also want people to feel like if they're on the team, whether it's my team or somebody else's, they are adding to the value and success of the organization every day. And that they don't need to go elsewhere to get to the next challenge or to move up in their career because there is more than enough opportunity at the company that we're at for them to shine, for them to grow, for them to learn new things. I found that with Gen Z in particular, that's much more of a motivating driver for them than even millennials like myself or Gen Xers um, as far as title and compensation being part of the ambitious drive. I think um, as I close up, you know, what my competitive edge is, I have built a, a strong understanding of marketing technology and the way to build a tech stack or repair an existing tech stack along with the foundational data structure because I spent those eight years in ad tech and martech. I know the solutions inside and out and I understand how it works. I also understand how the marketer 
thinks and approaches these situations, what keeps them up at night. Um, as I said, I am a empathetic marketer. So not only for the people I work for or work with, but the employees and the, the customers and thinking about what keeps them up at night and coming back to how we're going to solve their challenges, not shove the platform down their throat and, and get them to subscribe. I also have been able to build a pretty solid um, reputation and brand for myself within the world of marketing. So fortunate enough to be invited to speak at conferences or, um, you know, write thought leadership on various topics within marketing, whether it's how we can leverage AI to personalizing your content, um, how we can leverage various marketing technologies to um, increase the amount of demand gen opportunity and being on that cutting edge of what the latest and greatest is from every platform, whether it's something like HubSpot or Marketo that you might already have that adds a new functionality or new types of technology. I think competitive Intel has some really incredible new players that weren't around even just a few years ago. So I hope that that was helpful. I hope that you learned something. Um, if anything else, enjoyed my shoe collection. Um, and I hope that we have some good conversations in the future. Got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chain, that's right, ho!